Welcome back to my show. I'm The Very Adventure. I'm Caressa. And this episode, Old Chubb. It's Oscar Blues. Um, it's one of their top sellers. First and foremost, get ready. 8% alcohol, guys. It's a Scotch Ale. I'm a big fan of that. Um, now, if you're on the East Coast, you can now get fresh because they started a second brewery in uh, Bavard, North Carolina, which is really close to Asheville. Mm -hmm. um, now, interesting anecdote. Damn, I love the color of this. Mm. Interesting anecdote. When I lived in Florida, there was a bar that I worked at, and the bar across the street was a beer and wine bar. And one night we went over there uh, on my day off, and they had a thing where they had somebody sampling a bunch of Oscar Blues beers. Because it's funny. Oscar Blues hit Florida before it hit most of the other East Coast. Uh, that's where people go on vacation. And they had Dale's Pale Ale and a couple things. Well, they also had the Old Chub. And me and my buddy were the only two people that were really drinking the Old Chub. And the the um, like rep came over and was like, you guys are just killing this Old Chub. And I was like, it's fucking fantastic. And they literally gave me a tube of chapstick that was Old Chub flavored. And I don't really use chapstick, but I kept it because I was like, who else has a beer-flavored chapstick? Did anybody else ever see? Now, this was like, this was over 10 years ago. Did anybody else ever see the old Chubb chapstick? Because I don't know if I still have it in like any of my random crap. Probably. Uh, I, who knows? I mean, Somewhere. I've moved twice since then. So, three times since then. So. <laughs> All right. On to the beer. The smell. Mm. <laughs> the taste. Mm. Mm. It's really good. Okay. It is toasty. Yes. Kind of caramelly. Yes. It's actually crisper than you would assume with something mm. this color. Mm. That's a Scotch Ale trait. Mm -hmm. Scotch Ales tend to be dark but actually have that sharp yes it does. it's not offensively sharp but it's sharp um very sure there is a problem with scotch ales oh. scotch ales have that and again and again mm -hmm. and again as soon as you get done with the drink you want to take another drink mm. i literally have to put scotch ales down on the table if i keep it in my hand i like shotgun it uh, it might be the Scottish in my family, <laughs> you think? <laughs> but it, there's something about the way Scotch ales are made because they're very, they're very smooth, but they're mm. they're dark and like dark for the better. But they're not heavy. No, mm -mm. Scotch ales aren't heavy. No. no. Um, they got that color that's kind of like cherry cola, Dr Pepper. Um, I've actually even had one scotch ale on nitro, mm. which makes it even smoother. Oh, I love the smell yeah. of Old Chubb. It's yummy. Now, we're not actually sponsored by these guys, but Oscar Blues, if you're watching, and you want to send me some beer, contact me with a way to send me beer so that I can review it, I will give my honest review, you know? I mean, technically you would be the sponsor, but um, as of yet, I've only actually had like two sponsored videos. Huh? Yeah, we there was, there was actually a liquor store that was like, hey, I've got this stuff. If you're interested in reviewing it, I'd, I'd love to know what you think. So I got two free beers and I, Actually, they did it three times. So I had I tried three free beers from them, and I reviewed them and gave my complete honest opinion. And uh, there you go. You know that was pretty cool. Absolutely. Um, I dig mm. this one. I like it. I think it's really good. And Oscar Blues was one of the first, like, one of the first big non-corporate breweries that I knew of that was doing the cans. Yeah. 
which I know I've said it millions of times in my videos. Um, I don't know, I just prefer the cans. They're, they're so convenient. I can stack them in my fridge. I can take them wherever I need to go. They fit in koozies like a boss. Um, I don't know. They're lighter in a cooler. Yeah, they're just, I mean, bottles are great. I just, I just like cans a little yeah. better. So if I find things in cans, and a couple of my favorite breweries are now turning more towards cans. Mm -hmm. You know, just Oscar Blues was ahead of the curve. Yeah. Um, I smell a little bit of vanilla and a little caramel. Oh, yeah. I can definitely smell the caramel. Yeah. There's almost like a little bit of a stone fruit flavor. Mm -hmm. By the way, there's like no hoppy. No. Nothing. Mm -mm. I don't, I don't generally like hoppy. So. I mean, of course, there's hops in it. Right. But it's not that hoppy. It doesn't like, have that hoppy aftertaste. Like tongue numbing. Mm -mm. I just looked at Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like Christmas trees. I just don't want to lick them. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite beers from Oscar Blues. And they don't um, really do any beer I like. Oh, I don't like yeah, that one. I dig this one. I do dig this one. Yeah. Now, it doesn't drink like an 8% alcohol beer. No. <laughs> so yeah, it's another one of those you kind of got to watch out. Right. Because <laughs> uh, if you're not paying attention, Oops. <laughs> yeah, you can be stumbly. You know, we're in line at Crystal's at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Better than that. Okay. So, uh, I digress. <laughs> One more time. Um, <laughs> hey, it's kind of funny. On the side of it, it says cans, infinitely recyclable. There you go. Right. Awesome. So, there we go. So, did you dig it? Yep, sure did. Absolutely. Yep. Um, oh, excuse me. How much did he dig it? <laughs> Would you have another? Mm, yeah. Absolutely. Most definitely. Uh, how many would you put in a six? Uh, six. I would buy it. I would buy a six pack of this. I, I have pack. bought a six pack of these. Uh, yeah. yeah, more than one time I've bought a six pack of these. I'm actually surprised it's the first time I've ever had the opportunity to do it as a video. Hmm. Just I don't know. I guess I guess most of the time when I get them, we just They're drink gone. them. <laughs> uh, we specifically save this one. It's the last one. Yeah. So uh, yeah. For now. Right. <laughs> the last one in the fridge. Right. So I guess we get down to the ones the lowest. Ten pints up is the highest. It's an eight for me. It's a nine for me. Wow. Okay, I've said before, you know, your your rating is not just based on the flavor of the beer. A lot of times it's your personal experience with that beer. There's been good times with an old chub in my hand. Uh I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> you did it to yourself. I did. Okay. An Oscar <laughs> Blues old chub. Uh, like I said, <laughs> you know, we had such a good time one night. I got given a chapstick of old chub. Um, it's a good beer. We've had a lot of fun with this beer. Uh, at bars and nightclubs I've run, I've sold a lot of this beer. It's so the sentimentality gave you. Yes, the sentimentality actually. And now that I can get it significantly easier in the market I'm in, that, that actually doesn't diminish the the rating. I know sometimes people rank high beer higher when it's harder for them to get. This one's actually a little higher because it's a little easier for me to get. I don't yeah. have to remember to hunt for it when I'm in a different market. Right. Um. Yeah, this is a nine for me. I actually really think it's a great beer. Wow. It's also a really good gateway beer for your friends that aren't big beer drinkers. True. It's a good beer to yeah. give your light beer drinking friend and go, mm -hmm. look how much more bang for the buck I can get you with right. this beer. And, you know, yeah. you actually like the, oh, that's super dark. Good <sighs> taste. Dark is amazing. Yeah, dark beers are great. Well, there you have it, folks. 
to your next beer adventure. Cheers. <laughs>